A new era in transportation is unfolding, with cutting-edge technologies redefining how we move. A Japanese spherical vehicle is creating a buzz in China and Russia, challenging conventional vehicle designs. At the same time, new flying motorcycles, personal aerial vehicles, and hybrid scooters that seamlessly transition between road and air are pushing the boundaries of personal mobility. These innovations are paving the way for a radical shift in transportation. Let's take a closer look at how they're reshaping the future of travel. Richter, a technology company, has presented a prototype of its flying scooter, the Richter Skyrider X1. This vehicle can operate both as a ground scooter and as a flying drone, showing a practical step toward new transport solutions. The X1 has a foldable design that lets it switch between road and flight modes easily. In the air, it flies for up to 40 minutes and reaches speeds close to 100 km per hour. This is made possible by four arms, each with two propellers, totaling eight rotors for balance and control. In drone mode, it can reach an altitude of 200 meters. An autopilot system is included for safer and simpler operation. On the ground, it works like a closed scooter, fit for daily city travel. The rotor system includes eight propellers in four pairs, one on each arm. For takeoff and landing, it uses retractable wheels with hydraulic control, supporting its dual mode function. Richter plans to launch two models of the Skyrider X1, the X1 SL and the X1 SX. These versions are aimed at different needs, especially in terms of flight time. Though still a prototype, the Skyrider X1 has attracted strong public interest. This is the Volonaut Airbike, a cutting-edge flying machine designed by Polish inventor and entrepreneur Tomasz Patan, previously recognized as a co-founder of Jetson, the firm behind the electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft Jetson 1. Patan recently shared footage of a prototype single-seat flying motorcycle, visually reminiscent of the speeder bikes from Star Wars, representing a breakthrough in personal aerial transport. The airbike uses a jet propulsion system enabling it to achieve speeds up to 200 km per hour. Its compact form and lack of exposed rotors make it suitable for navigating narrow environments safely. The pilot's forward-leaning position ensures a complete 360-degree view, while an onboard computer-assisted stabilization system allows for automatic hovering and intuitive handling. The body is constructed from ultralight carbon fiber using three-dimensional printing, resulting in a frame seven times lighter than a traditional motorbike. The vehicle was kept under wraps for a significant period and was formally revealed to the public in April 2025. Though no specific pricing or commercial release timeline has been disclosed, it has already generated notable interest among tech enthusiasts and flight innovators. Engineers are exploring potential adaptations for urban transport and emergency response use. Its aerodynamic profile and low acoustic footprint further enhance its appeal for future city mobility. A team of enthusiasts from China's Moji Aircrafting Initiative has constructed a distinctive flying vehicle capable of high-speed travel over water by utilizing the ground effect. Within a span of 100 days, they assembled a full-scale Akranoplan measuring 4.8 meters in length with a wingspan of 3.88 meters, designed to accommodate a single occupant. The construction employed lightweight yet robust materials, including reinforced KT panels, extruded polystyrene foam, plywood, fiberglass fabric, epoxy resin, and aerospace-grade aluminum. The design incorporates a four-motor propulsion system based on drone electric motors, powered by high-capacity six-cell, 10,000 mAh batteries. The vehicle is remotely controlled via the PL-18 system. Key phases of the project encompassed a laser cutting, manual assembly, and water testing, during which the aircraft demonstrated impressive performance in terms of stability, speed, and liftoff using an air cushion effect. The Akrana plan success has sparked interest in further adaptations for rescue operations and recreational purposes. Its ability to skim just above the water surface makes it ideal for rapid deployment in coastal regions and lake environments. Engineers from Toyota have recently unveiled their revolutionary new development, a spherical vehicle of the future called the T-Spinner. This transparent sphere with two seats inside, appears as though it emerged directly from science fiction. It is capable of rotating and moving thanks to a unique mechanism resembling a hamster exercise wheel. 
The core of the design lies in a wheeled cart that travels along rails inside the sphere, propelling the entire capsule forward and creating a spinning effect. The vehicle is controlled using an internal joystick, allowing the passenger to set both the direction and speed of motion. The journey toward a full-size model began with a miniature version the size of a human palm. However, within four months, engineers succeeded in building a full-scale working prototype with a diameter of two meters, capable of transporting people. Plans are underway to incorporate smart glass for enhanced visibility and heads-up display features. Engineers also aim to adapt the TE spinner for urban mobility, offering a zero-turn radius solution for tight city streets. Lyft Aircraft conducted test flights of its electric vertical flying vehicle in Japan, marking its launch there. Before, the company had run flights in Texas, United States of America. Now people in Japan can train and ride this aerial car. Although the units aren't for sale, passengers can book a ride. No flying license needed. Visitors can also get help from robot guides. The artificial intelligence suitcase robot offers 20 or 50 minute tours, useful for regular or visually impaired guests. This new form of air travel could soon be a key part of urban mobility. Demonstrators emphasized how quiet and eco-friendly the aircraft is during flight. Children and seniors alike gathered to watch the launch, showing wide interest across age groups. The vehicle uses eight electric motors and is powered entirely by lithium batteries. Test passengers described the ride as smooth and surprisingly intuitive. Presenting a unique personal vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed by New Zealand's Martin Aircraft Company. Known as the Martin Jetpack, this vehicle was in development and its final prototype has already attracted significant public attention. The Jetpack is powered by a 2-liter V4 gasoline engine, producing approximately 200 horsepower. Lift is achieved through two powerful ducted fans, enabling stable vertical takeoff, hovering, and landing. The vehicle can attain speeds up to 74 km per hour, ascend to altitudes of up to 2,500 meters, and cover distances up to 50 km or fly for approximately 30 minutes. Its maximum payload capacity is around 120 kg, while the jetpack itself weighs about 200 kg. The device's price ranges from $150,000 to $250,000, depending on configuration and optional features. Despite widespread interest, including from government agencies, the company faced financial challenges in 2019, lost part of its investors, and was compelled to suspend operations. However, efforts are currently underway to revive the project. Recent prototypes have been tested in controlled urban environments, where they performed well in vertical maneuverability. Experts believe the jetpack could be valuable in emergency services and rapid response scenarios in the future. SkyDrive flew its SD-05 flying car at Expo 2025. The autonomous craft rose 5 meters and hovered around 4 minutes. The 11-meter model can cover 15 kilometers on one charge. The brand had flown with a pilot in 2020, but there had been little progress shown until now. Regular routes may launch this summer, though Japan trails China, where Ehang has already gotten approval to operate air taxis. China's service will debut in cities like Guangzhou, offering scenic flights. Ehang's plan includes growing urban mobility, takeoff hubs, and flight control systems. Their fleet also includes people carrying electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, cargo drones, and show drones. SkyDrive's booth also showcased future cabin designs with panoramic windows. A simulation let visitors experience what a ride might feel like above Tokyo or Osaka. Experts on site addressed safety concerns and shared battery longevity data. Engineers also revealed a portable charging station for remote takeoff points. A test version of an emergency landing parachute system was also displayed. Engineer and video blogger Jason from the JLaser video channel has unveiled the final version of his homemade flying hoverboard, inspired by characters like the Green Goblin and Iron Man. This project is a unique blend of engineering ingenuity and passionate devotion to superhero themes. The hoverboard is a multi-copter equipped with 10 electric motors capable of lifting a person into the air. The design consists of a platform with mounted propellers on which the pilot stands upright, controlling the flight with a handheld controller. The device can support the weight of an adult 
and maintained stable flight several meters above the ground. During a demonstration flight, the hoverboard lifts off, allowing the pilot to hover and maneuver above the ground. Visually, the device resembles the flying glider used by the Green Goblin in the Spider-Man films, reinforced by its theme design and styling. Jason has hinted at future versions with improved range and altitude, potentially including augmented reality-controlled interfaces. One of the most impressive examples of this trend is the Human Drone Project by Brazilian engineer Marcelo Lavrador. An ambitious homemade creation demonstrating that a single person can build a flying machine capable of lifting a human into the sky. The project is a massive multi-rotor aircraft assembled from numerous powerful motors arranged in a circle around a frame with a pilot seat. The control system is operated manually via a custom-built console and power is supplied by high-capacity batteries. The craft is equipped with safety features, including emergency motor shutdown and GPS monitoring. Marcelo spent months optimizing weight distribution and motor synchronization to achieve a smooth vertical lift. His project has since inspired other DIY engineers to explore personal aerial mobility on a shoestring budget. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment with your thoughts on these transport innovations. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting tech updates. See you soon.